one of our three deceivers almost died in a storm drain. You can tell us who you think it is by voting along in the chat. Let's find out who's telling the truth and who is a chump. Welcome to the last chump of 2020, everybody. I'm your host, Jeremy Dooley. This is, of course, the Rooster Teeth Game Show, all about lying and deception. And it is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Make sure to protect your online safety today by heading to expressvpn.com slash RTTB. Go there, learn more. And uh, today, we have a nice mixture of people who have been on the show before and uh, have never been on chump before. So let's start introducing our deceivers, starting with deceiver number one, Patrick Brown. Oh, that's me. Oh. Hello. How's it going? All, hey, it's I'm going honored. well. Thanks for coming. We also have deceiver number two, Ryan Haley. Woo! Woo! For jump. Let's do it. <laughs> Thanks for having me. And returning for the deceiver team, deceiver number three, Lindsey Jones. Hello. Hello, Lindsay. Welcome back. <laughs> and only two people can sort out whether or not they're telling the truth or telling a lie. The first being today's contestant, Mr. John Reisinger. Hi. And now the other being you, the audience voting along at home in the chat. Um, thanks for joining. And yes, welcome to the final chump of 2020. And welcome, Patrick and Ryan, for your first time on Chump. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone. Yeah. Glad to be here. So, uh, how uh, how are you feeling confidence wise, Patrick? How are you feeling going into this? I'm I'm feeling strong. I think I'm I brought my A game. You caught me on a good day, uh, and I, I'm <laughs> confident that I'm going to take home the hundred thousand dollars. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> and uh, before Damn. this, uh, Ryan, you said that you you love deception based games, so you're excited about. Oh this. yeah, I just love games where I can lie through my teeth, man. <laughs> I ain't no chump. <laughs> Am I the chump if if he if John guesses me, or is John the chump if he doesn't get it? Or are we both chumps somehow? We're all chumps in 2020, Ryan. Let's be very clear, yeah, okay? okay. Uh, <laughs> right. Why are you no chump? I'm gonna show. John, you're not gonna get me at all. I believe that. Well, all right, it's, perfect. Yeah, very possible. So we're going to go. We're gonna jump right into our first game, and let's let the lying commence. We're telling the truth. Starting with our first game, which is pushing the envelope. I have three envelopes here. Each one contains a true fact about one of our deceivers. I'm going to shuffle them up and then redistribute them. So they might get their own facts. They might get someone else's. Regardless of which, John is then going to question each of our three deceivers for 60 seconds about the fact they received. If it's theirs, they answer the questions truthfully. If it's not theirs, they answer with lies to try to make John think that that fact is their own. So it's time to read out these facts okay starting with patrick john the true fact about patrick is that patrick kept a toilet paper roll as a souvenir kept a toilet okay. paper roll as a souvenir okay on to ryan ryan once accidentally hiked 40 miles in one day what was Once the word that was accidentally? Accidentally. That's a big word in that one. It's doing a lot of heavy lifting in that sentence, I feel like. The true fact about Lindsay. Lindsay and their friends almost died in a storm drain. And their friends and her friends. Okay. Yes. I know. It's hard Almost to believe died. that I had friends. Yeah. I did. <laughs> That's the is, there, there, yeah. is there a, no. uh, a handicap I get, particularly with Ryan, if Ryan can't remember what the truth is out of all of them? That's true. If That's Ryan thinks yeah. you're all three, like, I get a handicap. Now, I feel like I'd be um, in the same boat as Ryan. I feel you. <laughs> for this game, uh, the audience vote works a little bit differently. We're asking you about one of these stories in particular, and that is who accidentally hiked uh, 40 miles in one day. So Ryan is claiming that this story is about him. Uh, after you 
hear his story. You can decide whether you believe him or think it's about Patrick or about Lindsay. And you can use our little tally that's going to be in the chat. If you're on mobile, you use hashtags in the chat to cast your vote. Uh, hashtag one for Patrick, hashtag two for Ryan, and hashtag three for Lindsay. But if you're on the site, it's just a nice little button. You can click there and vote. John, who do you want to question first? Mm, gonna question my queer little friend Lindsay. All right. Questioning Lindsay about the storm drain <laughs> incident. 60 yeah. seconds going on the clock. Ready, get set, go. Was Tim Curry in the storm drain with you? And if he was, how nice was he? He was incredibly nice, but alas, he was not in the storm drain with me. It's just in my mind. Okay. Final follow up question for that. What is the best Tim Curry film? Ooh. Oh, uh, I want to say Clue, but come on. I pick your favorite kid. Yeah, do that to it's me a, also. Off, yes, I'd love off. to adopt one of your kittens at some point. Uh, yeah, take them all. Uh, you and, and friends, how many friends were with you? This was three friends. They were neighborhood, like neighborhood friends, you know, where like you're kind of close, but because you're in close proximity, you play together. How long were you inside the storm drain? We were inside of the storm drain for probably close to eight hours. Uh, it was on a weekend and it started to rain very heavily. Yeah, while we were in did there. you have a pee or poo corner after eight hours? I'm sorry? Did you have a pee or poo corner after eight hours of being in the storm drain? We did not. I was able to hold it, um, but I was playing with all dudes, so they peed wherever they wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> just, that's Same. just a dude it's thing. Just Is it the pee fly? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I get it. All right, you know, John. That was your person. questioning. Look at that. Oh hey, man, the J porn says Ford, no way. Agree. John is winning. <laughs> what, what, what is what is normal and true amidst this group of peanut gallery weirdos that I'm here to try to figure out today? <laughs> I feel like I'm going to deceive myself accidentally. Uh, I'm just here to have a good time this and enjoy, enjoy the game. Yeah, and hear some stories. It's all good. Uh, Mr. Risinger, who would you like to question next? Mm, let's go to Patrick. I want to hear about this toilet roll. Yes, uh, kept the toilet paper roll as a souvenir. <clears throat> so 60 That's seconds right. going on the clock for this. Ready, get set, go. Why wouldn't your parents buy you real toys? <laughs> uh, religion. Religious yes. reasons. Same girl. Um, what was the, did you give a name to the toilet paper roll? I did not give a name to it, no. What was it, uh, what was it in memory of? What significance did uh, it hold? The closing of a company that I worked for. Why did Which you I run saw that as a, a doo doo place? Why did I burn it oh, to the ground? It needed you to didn't be like the place the that is from? No. And I thought toilet paper was a fitting, a fitting souvenir. That's good. Actually, very clever. If this is false. That's a good little line right there. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, do you still have it? I do. Is it in the room with you? You don't just show it to me. It's not. A, it's it's not in the room with me. If it's true, can I see it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. I mean, not I'm now. Done. <laughs> I know. I'm saying. I'm saying. Once we're done with the game, and if it's oh, true, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Off, in your house, off air, <laughs> off air, <laughs> off air. That game comes later. The what's in your house game. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Bonnie's going to happen on the show, Jeremy. It's natural. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to see things. All right. And uh, all right. So that leaves uh, Ryan, who accidentally hiked 40 miles in one day. So audience, pay extra close attention to this story. See if you believe Ryan or if you think that it is someone else and cast your votes accordingly. John, you get 60 seconds. Question Ryan. Ready, get set, go. Ryan, why don't you have more things in the bookshelf behind you? I, I I don't live here anymore. I'm here at my parents for the holidays. Just got bobbleheads here. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, where were you when you accidentally hiked 40 miles? What what state, city, country? I was, I, I was, as everyone who knows me knows, I'm a degenerate gambler. So I was right outside of Las Vegas, had a really good weekend. Uh, that is where? In the desert outside of Las Vegas. I can go into more detail. Did you drink your urine on that 40-mile hike in the desert? 
No, but I was dangerously close. It was scary because uh, uh, just to give you some background, uh, we wanted to have a doors weekend. Go do a bunch of mushrooms out in the desert. We drove out way <laughs> far too far. We were all predictably very confused and, and we had no, our bearings weren't around us. So we, we hiked what we thought for, was the car. It was 20 miles out of the way. Hiked the other back and we finally found it. Yes. Follow-up question. Ryan, are you on mushrooms right now, and did you do the 40-mile hike yesterday? I played the fifth, and no, uh, it wasn't yesterday. <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> Ryan is the wizard king. No. Can I kill him? <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, Sean, Disorienting. that is your questioning there. Now, uh, before we lock in the audience's answer, uh, before we lock in your answers, um, after hearing those three stories, is there anyone – uh, that you're really unsure about? Is there anyone you totally don't believe? Uh, how are you feeling after hearing those? I, I'm taking wild guesses across the board. I have no idea which one of these people is telling the truth or not. That I, I am legitimately stumped and could believe all of them. They all did a very good job of getting at least a, f a few like details that at least cemented this in a possible true narrative. But uh, I, I unfortunately... I, 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 I know Lindsay the best out of the three of these, but even Lindsay's a wild card in the best of these. <laughs> so, um, oh, so I, I'm, 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 I am convinced by at least all of them that it's a possibility they're all telling the truth. Um, so it's going to be some say, guesswork. I'll give I'll give one little thing that I have a hard time believing. Not that it can't be the truth, but if I had to like try to find cracks in the system, eight hours in a storm drain, didn't find a place to pee or poop. That's that's a rough one. That's a, that's going to be some major damage to the bladder area. Okay, Looks mm -hmm. the neighbors didn't like me going in their homes. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm also <laughs> almost certain we had Maggie on recently, and her thing was that she didn't poop for like a week or something wasn't it <laughs> i don't speak for maggie that's oh a God. whole other thing but yes yeah i think that was her story so anything's possible um all right audience we're locking in your votes thank you very much for voting in this first game and john it's time to get your votes we're gonna go down the line and you just need to tell me if you think that uh that person is telling the truth or telling a lie starting with patrick kept a toilet paper roll as a souvenir is he telling the truth or telling a lie? I'm going to go with Patrick's telling the truth. Why not? You want to lock that in? Yeah. Where's the button? Uh, it's right here. Press. All right. So uh, Patrick is locked in <laughs> wow. as a truth teller. Uh, moving on to Ryan accidentally hiked 40 miles in one day. Telling the truth or telling a lie? Lie. <gasps> oh, he lock didn't see that coming. Did yeah, lock it in. Let's lock that in. Your loss. <laughs> uh, Probably. And now on to uh, Lindsay. Almost died in a storm drain. A storm drain. Are they telling that the truth or telling time. a lie? dying in the storm dream is that any detail i, thought yeah. it was I was living in there jeremy living yeah <laughs> uh, let's go with the lie let's go with the lie why not all right that mathematically that would make sense do you want to lock it in yeah mm -hmm. i love math all right you look, all right you're evil you're i knew it <laughs> sick son of a bitch <laughs> no all right so a truth and two lies on the field according to john uh audience let's see who did you think accidentally hiked 40 miles in one day did you believe ryan or did you think it was someone else uh believed ryan 47 percent believe good story that that was the case so you're hoping that john got that one incorrect um, all right, so it's time to go down the line and see uh, how many John got right. He needs two or more right to get some points. Uh, starting with Patrick, who kept a toilet paper roll as a souvenir. You thought that he was telling the truth, and I can reveal that he was telling a lie. That was a lie, not true. 
Gotcha. <laughs> you got Jump. me. Yeah. Very yeah. good job. Yep. I applaud you. <laughs> Jumped him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, because Barbara's so, not here, I feel the need to make a lie and ply joke. Barbara, shout out to your puns. I miss you. Go ahead, Jeremy. <laughs> as you were. <laughs> I miss her. Uh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, on now. to Ryan accidentally hiked. Uh, 40 miles in one day. The audience thought Ryan was telling the truth. John thought Ryan was telling a lie, and I can reveal that Ryan was telling a lie as well. Man. So, John, you got that one correct. I'm mad that I didn't chump you, man. I'm mad about that. <laughs> Something's wrong with you. Me. You know what you did do, I'm though? My you chumped the audience. You got the audience <laughs> good. You got them. Ha <laughs> um, suckers! <laughs> so, it's all down to this one on who gets points here. Um... Really, this game, there's only one point up for grabs at this point. So either the contesting or the, or the deceivers will get it. And it's about Lindsay and the storm drain. John, uh, you thought they were telling a lie. And I can reveal that they were telling the truth. That was oh. a true story. That was a true story. Um, it is very true. true. There was a truth in this two lies on the miss. field. But not the ones mm -hmm. you thought. Which means... That at the end of that round, the deceivers got a single point in the audience, and the contestant got nada. But there's still a lot of points up for grabs, and uh, the way chump works, right. doesn't matter who has the most points, but whoever has the least points is the chump. That's not who you want to be. This episode of Chump is brought to you by Every Plate. Experience full plates and fuller wallets with America's best value meal kit in Every Plate. Get meals you'll enjoy and your bank account will love delivered right to your door. Even at regular price, every plate is up to 58% cheaper than other major meal kits out there. Think of it this way. One meal is the same price as one cup of coffee. And a meal is going to fill you a lot more than a cup of coffee will. Every plate's easy to follow recipes and pre-portioned ingredients take the stress out of dinner time. Recipes come together in about 30 minutes, which is definitely faster than a trip to the grocery store or starting a meal from scratch. As someone who does those a lot, trust me, it's a lot faster. Every Plate offers contactless delivery to your doorstep for easy home cooking on a budget and keeping you nice and safe. Uh, I know I got some meals coming up from them. They got some pineapple and pork tacos that I'm really looking forward to. You got some spicy in there with the jalapenos and some sweet with the pineapple. It's really, really good. You make them at home. You feel like a real chef. Get three weeks of Every Plate for only $2.99 per meal by going to everyplate.com and entering code CHUMP3. That's three weeks of Every Plate meals for only $2.99 per meal by going to everyplate.com and entering code CHUMP3. Get cooking, people. So, uh, John, audience, get it together because we're going no. into our next game. Okay, okay, fair enough. The next game is called High School Dilemma. Way. Mom? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so in this game, I have one true fact about one of our deceivers and their high school life. Um, I will present this fact to John. John will then question each person for 60 seconds about this fact and try to determine whose fact it really is. Um, and audience will be voting along as well. But first... Let's reveal the fact in question. It is a superlative. So one of our three deceivers was voted most likely to go to Hollywood. One of our three was voted most likely to go to Hollywood. Audience, you're voting with the poll that's popping up. If you're on mobile, hashtag one, two, three, respectively, to vote for the deceiver you think it is about. John, 60 seconds to question about the superlative. Who do you want to start with? Uh oh, let's go with that little cute boy Patrick. Get All the right. out of with, the way first. <laughs> yeah, starting starting with Patrick. Uh, voted most likely to go to Hollywood. 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, get set, a go. Uh why, where'd you go to school? Love to know. Minnesota. Do you want the height? Minnesota. Do you want the name of the school? That's right. No, I just want to know. It's fine. I don't give a care. Okay. Um why were you voted most good to go to Hollywood? I think because I would just make, I'd make, sorry, I would make little like short films for projects. I'd get out of writing papers by making little movies instead. Okay. I've got a really good uh, version of Beowulf if you ever want to see it. What, were you, were you making uh, little videos when you were a kid too? Of course. We got the VHS camcorder. Uh, uh, 
Oh, VHS. How are you Full showing size VHS? VHS? Yeah. Were you making were you making copies of the tapes and distributing them? Uh, no, not not of my own personal videos. I did that with uh, several MGM films that got me into some legal hot water. But... Other than that, no. I'm done. That was good. That was good. I'm done. That was good. No further questions, I, Your Honor. Yeah, I don't we want got Patrick him. In, in any more trouble. All this time later, we got him. It is yeah. ongoing. Yeah. So. There's no statute of limitations here. Not on show. No, sir. Ripping, ripping movies, we'll find you. Um, all right. That was uh, your first questioning there. John, who do you want to go to next? Uh, we'll just go linear and go down to Ryan. All right. Going down the line. Yeah, voted uh, the most likely to go to Hollywood. Uh, the questioning for Ryan begins in three, two, one, go. Did your parents have to pay kids to say that about you to give you hopes and aspirations of your future? No, it was a true democratic vote that my friends and peers voted on at school. <laughs> why Why did they think you were going to go to Hollywood? Why, why would they think over all the other kids in whatever backwater town you were living in? Yeah, exactly. I'm in Memphis, Tennessee, so it's not like we have many people going to Hollywood, right? We got like Kathy Bates, Justin Timberlake, that's it. But the only, it's kind of bullshit because I, they, they voted me for that because I told them I was going to go to Hollywood. And I did. I was like, I'm going to Hollywood right after college. That's where I'm going to end up. And then I did. And and I'm so it's good that they gave me the award. Because I, I knew I made, I love movies. That's movies. Are you continuing the facade of having made it into Hollywood or are they aware of how much of a failure you are? Oh, they, everyone knows. Yeah, by my silence that I have not made it. They, they will know when I have made it. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Okay, good. Good to know. I'm doing fine. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Most likely I like the thought that in, uh, maybe in Ryan's yearbook, whenever people signed it, they're, they let their phone numbers in there. Ryan's like, I'll, I'm will i going to give you a call when I make it. <laughs> yeah. like, your, your vote was not in vain. <laughs> <laughs> it's, also, it's also put down if that's the case then it's him thinking that he's gonna make it big enough that he needs to tell them but not big enough they'll figure it on their own because of his sheer fame he'll still need to tell people <laughs> no he'll be so right, famous guys, they won't get access to his number yeah <laughs> right right exactly i'm going Listen, to hollywood right. to become a grip <laughs> they're like beta yeah, testing yeah. for his friendship the basically yeah. <laughs> yeah. precisely <laughs> lovely yeah i yeah. thank you <laughs> What he I do. was paraphrasing, and he was actually voted most likely to become best boy on the set of a reality TV series. That's all he's <laughs> true. Well, he that's all he would. Yeah. Uh, that leaves one, John. That leaves Lindsay. Are you ready to question Lindsay? Yeah, why not? All right. 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, get set, go. Um, What were you specifically going to go to Hollywood and do? I, uh, I've, sure. sure I've spoken before about I like to do acting but the only thing they had in my school was like theater performances and I really wanted to do on camera work so I kind of like pushed my drama club to do more on camera stuff like on camera audition work on camera body movement work and how that translates from theater so they didn't really have anything like like going to Hollywood or anything but they kind of like made that a thing i guess in my honor and so they started signing yearbooks and they'd be like oh I'll see you in hollywood so i was like oh, okay thanks like here's how you use the camera all right uh next question um your hair looks beautiful and i'm jealous of how good the color is turning out and i cannot thank you I can myself soon, it's so. fading like a dream it's green next we'll see how that goes green is going to be next i think so green very like christmasy i think green. Not gradient yeah yeah. Ooh. I what hope I answered Hollywood all your questions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh no, you played to my ego. Ooh. Oh, you. The power of money. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Damn. Classic move. <laughs> all right, John. That was your uh, questioning for all three deceivers. Audience, last second chance to change your vote. If anyone managed to convince you. So, John, same question as before. Uh, going into the locked in answers. Is there uh did they all manage to convince you once again, or is there, you know, some holes in the stories that you're spotting? Mm, I, I I didn't necessarily find much holes. Again, 
very talented individuals, creative, uh, full of uh, story making abilities. So I, I, it's very hard to see through any sort of facade that's being crafted here. Uh, if I had to just make a, a, a leap to guess who out of the three of them might be most likely to uh, be given that title, I would think, now see, I don't know much about Patrick, um, I assume Patrick was probably an upstanding member of their school and community, but Ryan probably came from a place that was like, oh, this guy's doing this stuff with whatever these videos and editing Ryan was doing. I would assume that there's a chance Ryan was creating the abominations of videos he's doing now back when he was a kid. Yeah. And so they would have translated that to being like, oh, this guy's going to be the next Spielberg. And so there's a chance that's just more of a possibility with him. That's all. Yeah, fair enough. What about Lindsay? Lindsay have the capability of being I most think, likely. Lindsay, yeah, she come, they, they come from a background that that's a total possibility. The only reason that I'm not leaning towards Lindsay is that they were uh, theatrical. And I loved the spin you were trying to do to kind of veer me towards that little Hollywood route. But I just still can't believe that they wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, Lindsay's going to be in Broadway and them shining lights in New York City. So that's that's why. Interesting. It's too overwhelming All right. for me, you know? <laughs> Uh, before we get I agree, the final. I agree, I agree, Lindsay. <laughs> Bright light, uh, big city. Mm. That's where I want to be. Uh, Pizza. All right, audience, we're locking in you. <laughs> you are now locked in on game number two. Audience, best of luck. Mr. Reisinger, you got three choices. Who was this superlative about? I'm torn. I'm going to go with Ryan. Why not Ryan? You want to lock that in? I, I do, sir. I do. Let's let's rock in. I said it wrong. Lock it in. <laughs> now we're rocking in. I said rock in lion, and I stopped we're myself. Around the Christmas tree. <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> but what, what do I do now? Ryan is lion? ready. Drop it. <laughs> stay, Ryan. Stay. Stay. All right. The uh, I, so the poll just ended, so we might have to wait a little bit before we reveal. Oh, hey, you're you're Nine's holding going. here. Hang on. <laughs> All right, oh, it's so it's eating me alive. Don't put those down yet. Dying. Um, Brian, so the commitment. I love right this. Now. Once the audience count is ready, let's put that up on the screen as well. Uh, I know it like, just ended to the point of saying, oh, they got it. Lindsay. Oh. The audience wow. is gone for Lindsay. 50%. Damn. What? And then, uh, oh. I don't think, I go, they don't think I'm going to go to Hollywood. I'm sorry, well, buddy. I think you could make it. <laughs> It'll eat you alive, but you'll make it, star. baby. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, 24% to 26%. So a very similar thing to John here of like, really didn't know which way to go. But then the opposite effect, all thought Lindsay, whereas John like discounted Lindsay uh, from this one and went with Ryan. And we I can reveal round. that the person voted most likely to go uh. to Hollywood was... Patrick Brown. Boom, it was Patrick Brown. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. The audience got chumped. John got chumped. And the audience. I chumped everybody, man. This is awesome. I'm loving this game. I'm the best. This fucking game. You think you're safe? No. Ryan comes in. Chump. Chump, baby. No, he's safe. Yeah, I got the stamp. Uh -uh. I feel like I just got voted go to, best to go to Hollywood even right now. So I feel like I, I made it happen and I chumped you all. Honestly, Oscar worthy performances all around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very nice. Sorry. Who? Who? Uh, we, you know. <laughs> Professional. Wait, wait, wait. Got a little out of control there for a second. <laughs> but, uh, which means, <laughs> um, Deceivers, you managed to fool, I mean, a combined effort by everyone there managed to fool both the contestant and the audience, uh, securing two points for that round. Meaning, Dude, Deceivers, Deceiver, we are rocking it right now, guys. Right. You That's have right. won this episode. Ceiling you, five. <laughs> so it's all down to this, because uh, once again, this is about not being the chump. So deceivers, you are safe from not being the chump. It is now in a dead heat between John and the audience. But deceivers, if you manage to fool both of them once again, um, John and the audience will be joint chumps ending 2020, uh, and you would be the only winner. So best of luck to you as oh, we go into our final chumps. game. <laughs> Audience chumps? The final game Audience. of this year. <laughs> What's in your house? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to name my enemy. Game. What's up? 
in, in all three of our streamers will be describing a bizarre item that is in their house. However, only one of them is telling the truth. The other two are making up items that do not exist. Uh, John is going to... Uh, bleh, I'm going to go down the line and tell them each to give me a one-sentence description of this item. John then gets to question each of them up to my discretion. I'll tell them when to move on to the next person to try to figure out which item is real. Uh, so before we get into the game... Let's hear about these items, starting with Patrick. Patrick, what is in your house? I have a bottle of snake wine from China. A bottle of Ooh, snake wine from China. Um, Ryan, what is in your house? I have a large container filled to the brim with plungers. A large container filled with plungers? Uh, Lindsay, what is in your house? I have a piece of fabric that was part of a Lady Gaga costume that she wore to one of her concerts in Dallas. Piece of fabric from a Lady Gaga costume. Uh, all right. So audience, who is telling the truth? Who's telling a lie? Uh, so you're voting on who has the actual item. Use the poll in the chat. And then hashtag one, hashtag two, hashtag three, if you're on mobile. That's the only time you need to do that. Otherwise, just click the button. Uh, John, who do you want to start with on this? Ryan. Start with Ryan yes, in the John. container full of plungers. <laughs> now, there's no time limit on this. I'll just tell you when you've had enough questions. Oh, uh, so okay. whenever you're ready, take it away. <laughs> How long has this container been inside your house? I'm going to go five years. Did you purchase it, get gifted it, or was it there uh, before you had anything to do with it? It was purchased online accidentally. I wanted one plunger, but uh, accidentally, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 yeah, I wanted one plunger, but I got a gross of plungers. So 144 came. How and a many nice have plunger. You how many of them have you used up so far? Well, one. And then I, uh, you give the rest for Christmas to people is how it's been going the last five years. Um, can I have one? Yes. Okay. Ooh. Oh, gosh. I don't have any more questions. <laughs> All right, Aaron, I thought you were going to end it there. John, Sean's just trying to get a plunger out of this deal. Bought yeah. one and received 144. Quite, quite a difference. Uh, John, who do you want to go to next? Yeah. It happens. It happens. You know what? what? I, 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 of like some sort of cosplay possibility with that many plungers. There's got to be something <laughs> you can crack out of that. John, the <laughs> first thing I thought of is Hellraiser made of plungers. And, you know, yeah. oh, like nice. a pinhead cosplay. I do that. You need yeah. like a video on the book. For Call me Ryan. To make, for those to like <laughs> yeah, be accurate true. to plunger, scale, you need like a ten plunger foot pinhead. Guy. Is cool. <laughs> yeah, <plunger pinhead. laughs> the John, uh, you opened it. We came. Uh, let, let's have let's have a chat with Lindsay next. All right, having a chat with Lindsay. The piece of fabric. Better be about a pinhead uh, cosplay. Whenever you're ready, John, go for it. Um. Is the the carpet piece clean or does it have stuff on it from Gaga? Okay, it's not a carpet piece. It's a piece of fabric, but I'll oh, tell you what it is. No, sorry. Yeah, it's very dirty. I'm, yeah. I'm an idiot. It's a piece of fabric from her dress. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Was this uh, given to you willfully or was this something that you got through force? Okay, it wasn't through force, but I was cleaning up after the concert because I was working promotions at the time and we were connected to the concert. Now, the way that all of that works is like if they have a fast costume change, they'll have people behind stage ready to help. Sometimes if the costume gets stuck, they just like seam rip you out of pieces of it and we'll throw something else on. So that happened. So I'm backstage after the show, I'm cleaning up and I see this tiny little piece of fabric and I'm like, oh, she was wearing that. So I went, yoink, and just put it in my pocket and kept cleaning. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, what so, color? Is so it? not no. I didn't steal it, but you know. Uh, what color is it, Lindsay? <laughs> it's yellow with silver sequins on the edge. 
it's like that big uh, what was the best song that she sang at that concert Ooh, i like monster but that's my favorite one and she was in like this trash can ensemble that i thought was kind of cool so i'll say monster all right john that's this was the monster ball concert was the trash can Ooh. ensemble inspiration for your garbo dance absolutely as is all lady gaga in my I'll life allow that yeah. question. <laughs> um all right uh so that just leaves patrick uh patrick and his item john and prepared to question patrick why did i hear carpet what is wrong with me i need to get I don't out of know. this yeah, the carpet really <laughs> threw me for a delay I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's been a long right. year you know it was a red carpet right, event john. But, you know. <laughs> that's true that's a good point yeah. uh all right the snake wine from china john uh whenever you're ready begin your questioning is it open yes but it hasn't been opened in years but it was opened at one point <laughs> that's the worst answer possible so <laughs> well, i had to try it <laughs> hold up you have an old unsealed bottle of snake wine yeah, well, I tried it and then I sealed it up, but I'm not going to throw it away because it looks insane. It <laughs> looks did, cool as shit. Okay. okay, so why didn't you finish it? Because it is absolutely disgusting. Then walk me through the mental process of try snake wine, bad, yeah. must keep. Okay, so it was a gift from somebody who had gone overseas. They brought it back because they thought it was a weird thing. I, we tried it, I threw up immediately, sealed it up again, and then it was just a bottle with, it's like baby snakes, baby cobras, I think, that are just sitting at the bottom. So it was like, I'm going to keep this, I'm going to like put this somewhere, I'm not going to throw it away, but I'm also not going to drink it because I don't want to throw up again. <laughs> ha, ha. <laughs> Do you know how much this piece of shit costs? Yeah, it was like 15 bucks or something. It was not expensive. Is it the same color it was when you got it? Or has it altered? Yeah, roughly. It's kind of like a dark brown, sort of. And then it's darker around oh. the snakes, which is very gross. That might, How that long do you plan on keeping this bottle of unsealed rotten uh, wine? Until it becomes like a nuisance. If it ever started to stink through the <laughs> bottle, I would probably get rid of it. But until right, then, John it stays. I'm cutting you off there, what? John. No, it becomes last question. Un- yeah. Fuck off. What's the name of the brand? There's no brand. It's literally just an unlabeled bottle. That's all I want to know. Thank you, Jeremy, for your time. You got it. Okay. You got it, John. Let's just calm down. 2020 is coming to an end. We're all a bit tense. Uh, all right. So uh, there's your questioning about all of the items. Audience, uh, last chance to change your votes. If anyone managed to convince you about their item, remember, only one of them is the real item. John, uh, we're going to go over your thoughts again here. Anyone you're not believing at all or anyone who managed to convince you? You asked some interesting questions during that one. I think you were trying to sleuth it I out. Was- yeah, I would say out of all of the rounds of this, this is the one that I think everyone was the most airtight with possibilities. The, the, all of these items track with, I feel like, the possibilities of their lives and social interactions with people and odd spending habits. So, uh, <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm I'm being hard on him, but Ryan, I actually really like you, and I actually want to do more collaborative stuff in the future with you. I think oh, you're quite I like talented. You too, John. So, so just want to make that clear. Lindsay knows. Oh, Lindsay knows another my love. The show? Oh, okay. And Patrick, <laughs> Patrick, it's been a delight. You've just been a delight, Patrick, and and you did Thank such you. a good job so far. So um, the relationship is I just think- starting. I yeah, yeah, we're 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 cracking <laughs> ice. I'm a, I'm a big fan of what Inside Gaming does. Um, I don't know who's telling the truth. I want the plungers to be the truth. I want to say that's what I want. <laughs> I think truth. we all do. Um, because I, John, I just I just want that to be something that happens. I so before I get your final answer, we got to lock the audience in. We don't want them to know what you're going with. Uh, audience, Copy. you are now locked in. Uh, for the game, for the show, and for the year. Audience, you are good. Well done, and thank you for playing. John, 
who has the real item. Fuck, I hate this because I actually didn't care about this game until now. And now I really want to get this right. Just because I mm -hmm. want to get at least one. I think it's the uh, the plungers. I don't. I actually think it's the wine, but I'm going to plungers. <laughs> I could see that hurt you as you said it. Do you want, do you want you're to? Patrick, you're, wait, you're going, going with me, but you think it's Sean Patrick. Patrick. I think it's, I th I'm, I'm locking in plungers. Got it right. waiting off screen. Oh, I know. Don't what? do that to me, Lindsay. Let's lock. You, you have the second. Words. Let's lock it in. You have a second to change your vote after you lock it, right? <laughs> you can change it. <laughs> There's no unlocking on jump. Um, he, he thought but, it was Patrick, but he voted for me. That is a... Now, but here's the All thing. Right, now what do we do? Regardless of if John got it right or not, here, um, Aud he needs the audience to think something different. Uh, if the audience agrees with him, there's really there's no opportunity. Now it's then it's just for the pride of getting one right. Um, oh, that was not nice. Loud as oh that my god, <laughs> I have ever heard. <laughs> um, all right, uh, audience, what did you think? Let's see, is it the same or is it different? Oh, it's different. It's the oh, snake damn. line. Yeah, good. I wanted it to be divided. I want it to be divided. All right. It's divided. There will be a chump on this. There will be a singular chump on this show, either the contestant or the audience. Um, so the audience thinks it's the snake line. Uh, John thinks that it's the plungers. And rather than me tell you what's real and what isn't, I'm going to have uh, the real item be revealed. So I'm going to count down from three and then say reveal, and the real item will be shown. Uh, so show the real item in three, two, one, reveal. Oh, 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 Ryan, yeah. Ryan's getting it. Back, yeah. Back to my chip. Back to my chip. Oh, my God. 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 Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a down footage film. What the hell? What are you <laughs> gonna do with all this? What is this? <laughs> Shaking him. <laughs> oh my god. Well done. John, you did it. You nailed it. You got a point you for that. It. Good job, so, John. You got John. one. That means that for You're this not show, the deceivers ran away with it. Three point or four points for the deceivers. That's right, because they fooled the audience. Um only one for john but one was enough right then because uh for the last jump episode of 2020 the audience is going to be tonight's jump. there it is all right so i'm so sorry audience but maybe you'll have better luck better luck oh my gosh <laughs> maybe better luck next better time <laughs> no, it's been a year better here's the 2021 time. Yeah. here's the 2021 yeah, all around we're what starting your 2020 over. out of your life <laughs> yep. thank you one of those is i am plunger you can buy a plunger from ryan if you need to hit him up on Twitter. i get a free one right, yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's free. right they're, they're christmas presents for everybody yeah okay there you go yeah. Merry Christmas to all. Hey, Merry, if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Uh, happy holidays or just happy December and end of the year. Um, and we will see you in January for more Chump. Also, make sure first members out there, you can watch our post show, which is called Chump Change. We're going to record that now. And we're going to hear about uh, all the stories that we didn't get to hear in the actual show, like the hiking and the toilet paper roll and uh, some more details about the storm drain from Lindsay. So we're going to get all to all that in our post show. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Have yourselves a great rest of the year. And uh, let's hope for some better stuff in 2021. Goodbye. Yeah. Peace out. Yeah. What? Thanks for watching, Chump, all this year, everybody. Let us know in the comments who is your favorite deceiver in this year. And remember, we'll be back in 2021 on January 6th for the first episode to get things started again. See you then.